I think music is the way I, I taught myself how to filter the world. Your life is moving and it has a soundtrack. It's just something that finds its way to me all the time. I tend to play quite heavy music. Played in a lot of punk rock bands, for sure. Rock and roll bands. Ja, we hebben elkaar ontmoet toen we allebei nog in de horeca werkten in hetzelfde bedrijf. En één avond uh, waren we aan het werk. Toen was er een bruiloft, heel leuk feest. En toen zijn we met z'n allen blijven hangen op het werk. En uh, toen waren we allemaal best wel dronken. En uiteindelijk zijn we met z'n allen gaan vliegen, zeg maar. Dus ik ging liggen. En toen moest ik iemand een soort van vliegtuigje spelen. Dus op mijn handen en op mijn uh, voeten stonden zo. Jij bent hing zo. Ik kan hem gewoon nog steeds. Ja, je kan vinden. Ja, we hebben kan Toen keken we elkaar aan en toen uh, was daar het moment. Yeah. Uh, I started cooking in Holland. I think at that time it, it seemed like something that was equivalent creatively that I could do without getting uh, bored with it and without uh, feeling like it's a like it's a job. The downside of working in the horka would be uh, the late nights, uh, lots of drugs and alcohol. It was a problem before, for sure, now that I look back in retrospect. But within that, you sort of construct your life around it. Omdat Jevin behoorlijk veel dronk, en in het begin ging ik daar nog best wel in mee. Maar uiteindelijk begon het echt in de weg te zitten. Omdat hij, bij Jevin zit er eigenlijk nooit geen echte stop op zijn drinken. Hij wordt ook nooit ziek. En uh, dat gebeurde dus ook regelmatig. Dus we hadden nooit geen leuke avonden samen, want we eindigden altijd in een drama. En uiteindelijk toch gewoon op zijn fiets stappen en dan gewoon van zijn fiets afvallen uh, in de goot. En dan maar verwachten dat ik hem dan misschien wel naar huis zou dragen of weet ik veel. Dus ik heb hem ook altijd gewoon, of het nou voor buiten of niet, ik heb hem altijd gewoon laten liggen. Er was altijd wel iemand die voor hem zorgde en daar verstopte hij zich altijd achter. En ik wilde niet meer diegene zijn die dan maar weer hem beschermde daarvoor. Ik denk, als jij dan wil drinken, dan ga je de consequenties zien ook. Dan blijf maar in die goot liggen. Ja. This is my best friend on this uh, planet. It's finished. Yeah. What is it? It's a voodoo coffin. I like it. Oh, we were toxic twins for, for a long time. Yeah. We, we, uh, I think we put everything that we could get to our bodies and thought that was really cool. I heb hem opgebeld en gezegd dat ik uh, aan mijn tax zat te mij en dat hij uh, dat hij als ik echt zijn beste vriend was uh, dat hij mij moest geloven dat hij iets niet zag of kon zien wat ik op dat moment wel kon zien. Dennis had got my my mom involved because she had just recently moved back to California. She was worrying a lot because she knew me like that. Just all those aspects started to fall into place, and then at that specific time, I felt my my vision and my overall outlook on the situation changing. Ik maakte me gewoon zorgen dat iemand me zou gaan bellen en en zou zeggen ja, Jevin heeft een ongeluk gekregen en dit is mijn allerbeste vriend en ik heb nog één poging in me om het hem duidelijk te maken. This is the spot that I decided. I wouldn't be uh, drinking anymore on the night of New Year's Eve of 2014. I realized how to see that specific pattern in my life as an, as an obstacle. I felt the pain of the people, like the close people around me, my best friend, my mom, and my girlfriend. I think they just... Uh, Somehow saw the beauty inside of me and, and stuck with it, you know, <laughs> which uh, which I I love. 
I love that. For sure. What are you thinking about? Yeah, that, that, that's so awesome. <laughs> that's like, that's where the magic lies, you know? That, that people believe in you. It's lovely. I think it was a problem for a good 15, close to 20 years. But again, it was, it was more a part of a, of a long thread through my life of looking for something else exterior to fix something that was happening inside of me internally. This is a kidney pretty much the only tattoo that has some kind of meaning on my body. When I was young, I had an accident at school where I, I fell quite, uh, quite heavy on my stomach and I busted my kidney open in uh, three hairline fractures. It was major internal bleeding. So I was in the hospital for quite some time. And during the course of this, Accident, they had found a rare mixture of tumors on my kidney. So then around my 10th birthday, they removed the kidney and I endured about 18 months of chemotherapies plus uh, four to six weeks of radiation therapy. At that time, I turned, I definitely turned away from uh, the family unit and struggled for quite some years with uh, heroin addiction. Being sick and then moving into like a, a heroin habit and then moving into a alcohol dependency, you're still left with a question like deep inside of you, like what the hell does all this mean? What is all this shit? Hi, Jevin. Hey, Madre. It's like seeing uh, a lot of the old pictures, and I was also very curious in what what you remember from that time, and and what you were what you were thinking about. Um, it's quite a heavy thing to watch someone you love, um, you know, suffer. Did you see uh, that it had created <laughs> patterns in my life on a negative way as well? Because I certainly have. Yes. You were going through your chemo and your surgeries and everything. There was fear in your eyes. And then after, when you got your hair back and everything was done, there was anger in your eyes, Jen. Part I of that is doing drugs. Um, drinking, numbing, the pain. Being given drugs at that specific time and then moving on further into my life and as they were patterns repeating themselves. Look at you. You know, you're a wonderful human being with a lot of strength, inner strength. You can't ask for anything better than that. I mean, it's miraculous be on your feet at 40 with what you've been through. Okay. Be on your feet at 40 with what you've been through. Okay. I've never ever thought about it like that. Your eyes have changed. Okay. They're almost the same as when you were a young little boy. That little light that was in your eyes, it's, it's there again. I see it right now. <laughs> Keep strong, Jevin, like you are, and you'll have a happiness inside of you. You will. Love you. I love you too, eh? Huge, big kiss. Have you ever had a child from something to take? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. From yeah, yeah. my daughter, for example. Uw dochter, waar is ze? Die is overleden. Nee. En mijn man is overleden. En mijn broer is overleden. En nog een broer en nog een broer. Die moesje, die woorden zoiken. 
zu sehen. Er schaut und schaut auf das Waldmäglein hin. Als je zo'n lied hoort, dan wil je nooit afscheid nemen. Heb je ook moeite met afscheid nemen? Ga naar ons site ntr.nl slash valsplat.